Hey everybody, it's Melanie O'Kane with Yarn Mosaics here with video number three, introducing version 3.0 of the Overlay Mosaic Crochet Pattern Maker. Uh, and in this video, we are going to finalize the pattern that we um, generated in video two. Okay, so when we did uh, video two, we ended up here in the staging area. And now what we want to do is copy everything in the staging area that we want to work with. Now you'll see that if you come up on these uh, zeros, that is the boundary of your pattern. Your pattern stops right there. So that's all you need to copy. You don't want to copy any of the zeros, okay? So see, right here is the end of the pattern. So that's all I want to copy. So we're going to copy, we're going to come over here to finalize, and I was already tinkering around, so we're just going to go ahead and paste. Okay. If you, uh, like I said, I was tinkering around, but this, this page will probably be blank, um, unless you've worked with it already. Uh, you just want to put your, your cursor or your, your, yeah, your cursor in cell I3, not here, in I3, right there, and then paste. This represents your, your columns, your alternating columns, okay? So I3, right there. All right, so um, I could get really long-winded here, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try to explain it precisely but quickly. Everything now in here that is your pattern, okay, once you see, you know, you can kind of see the difference. And you know how big your pattern is, okay? So these blank cells, that's not part of your pattern, but all of this is. Every cell that you see in your pattern, whether you see something in that cell or not, has something there. There's code behind the scenes that tell the program whether it needs to have a color or an O or an X or a blank. Okay. You need to replace or delete what is in the cell first before you can do anything with it. Other than typing in an X or an O. If you type in an X, you're going to get the X with the blue background. If you type in an O, you're going to get, whether, whether it should be there or not, you're going to get an O with the white background. So just be careful of that because you it will let you put the X's and the O's in wherever you type them. Other than the X's and the O's, you need to either delete or replace what is in the cell already before you can make further changes to the cell. If I want to make this cell green, and I come up here and I try to do it the way I normally would do it. It's not changing it because there's something there. So I have to either delete it, which I'm going to do here, delete. And then you can change it. Or you come over here and you will pick a symbol and this is a blank but we're calling calling this a symbol okay but it's a blank cell i would copy this and i would come over here and i'd paste it then i can change it to green if i want okay see how that works um if you like the o's and you want to leave the o's more power to you um, it would probably be easier to uh, leave the O's, but if you don't and you want to use the X's, 
you're either going to have to come in here and delete and then type in your X's or what I suggest with working with the secondary colors here is um, copying this X here, coming here and putting the X's in like that. Then coming here and um, copying the blank and put, put that in there. Okay, and then, then you can start copying and pasting to make, you know, make your life a little easier. But as you do this, you'll see the cells that you've done something with and the cells you have not. If you use it, uh, use the symbols in this way with the secondary colored cells, you'll see, like, like I said, you'll see where you've changed the cell and now you can do whatever you want with it and where you have not okay so the thing to remember is you can type in an x and get an x with the blue background you can type in an o and get the o with the white background but other than that you can't come in here and and type something or change anything until you either delete what's in the cell, whether you see something in the cell or not, or replace it with one of these symbols. And I have a little note here that you must use the X above for secondary color rows. And that's because if you were to try to come up here and type an X, you're going to get a blue X and you don't want that. Not, not right there. And you would just do this with the rest of your pattern and, and look for the areas that don't make sense. Like right here, something should be there. So you have to decide, do I want this to be um, a, a drop double crochet in the secondary color? Or do I want to make a drop double crochet here and just leave this as a single crochet? Okay. And so that's, that's the 5% of the work that you need to do. <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. The, uh, the, the only place I think people are going to get tripped up is on this page. So make sure you go back and watch this video as many times as you need to. I'm not going to repeat all the um, things I just told you, but uh, once, you, once you get that part, coming in here and, and changing things around and, and, and tweaking them is going to happen really fast for you. Okay. Now, as we do things here, the written pattern is automatically generated here. Okay. In fact, when you paste it from the staging area into the finalize area, the written pattern is already started to do its thing. The thing you want to remember is that uh, you want to read this from the bottom up right to left just like you would do um, a, a chart an overlay mosaic crochet chart but it is populated from left to right top to bottom But when you actually go to use it, you want to go from the bottom up, from right to left. So if this was the beginning of the row, we would say, okay, this row starts with two single crochets. Then it has nine double crochets. Then it has two single crochets. And then it's finished up with 33 double crochets. Okay, so that's an important thing to remember here. 
And that's it, folks. That is it. Um, again, I think the only place people are going to get tripped up is on this page. So make sure you go back and watch the video as many times as you need to. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So I really, really hope you guys enjoy version 3.0. It is such a game changer. And it leaves you with about 5% of the work to do. And the rest is done for you. Okay. If you have any questions, drop me a line. The easiest way, the fastest way is probably through Etsy. Um, and I, I try to respond right away if I can. Uh, and I can, you know, get to your questions. Or uh, make sure to join our private Facebook group. And uh, the folks in there are friendly and they're always willing to help. If I don't see uh, questions being posted right away, a lot of times the other members will jump in and, and, and help you out. Okay. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy version 3.0 and happy creating folks.